Hi everyone. So my goal today is to talk about the recent questions from radiology in the INI CT November 2024. So what is the peculiarity of INI November 2024? I'll give you an idea based on you know what has been the pattern. INI CT as an exam has 100 questions on first second year and 100 questions on third fourth year. Okay, this is unique. It is different from NEAT PG. In NEAT PG, you have 120 questions on third and fourth year, 80 questions from first second year. So as a result in INICT, I'm sure you can all see it. There is a predominance of first second year questions because of which third and fourth year subjects, they suffer because you have to squeeze all the third and fourth year bigger subjects into 100 questions. So as a result, some subjects of third and fourth year suffer. For example, if I now take you back to the May exam, in May 24, PSM was less. If you go back to the 2023 papers, you will find papers in which your, you know, sometimes they have asked less ENT, sometimes they ask least, less forensic. This time, the November 2024, short subjects were less. Short subjects were less. So this has been the variability. They play with the subject-wise distribution, especially for the third and fourth year subjects. Sometimes medicine is also less. That is also a possibility sometimes. So they are, you know, because of the predominance of first, second year, this is happening in the your exam. Now let's go on to the questions of this year. The most important pattern in INICT in the exam is applied anatomy. That means they will ask you anatomy question but the image will have a radiological image or a clinical image. I will show you the image. This is a MR angiography image. This is a MR angiography image. This is your internal carotid artery. And you can see the internal carotid artery dividing into MCA and ACA. So you can see the all the branches of the internal carotid artery. You can see the vertebral artery. You can see the basilar artery. So this is your basilar artery, vertebral arteries. This is the major part of the intracranial circulation. But in INI CT questions, they always have a twist. The twist they introduce is this time they are showing you the external carotid artery. And this appears to be the super, superficial temporal branch of the external carotid artery. And this looks like the maxillary artery division giving rise to the middle meningeal artery. This is the superficial temporal artery. So this time the twist they had was they showed a MR angiogram which invariably in every exam is asked about the cerebral circulation. You go for the internal carotid artery, you go at the basilar artery or the vertebral artery, but they will never ask external carotid artery division on MR angiogram. It is unlikely, but this is the twist they have asked this time external carotid artery. मतलब हर बार इंटरनल पूछते थे इस बार उठा के एक्सटर्नल की ब्रांच पूछ ली और वी आस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट व्हिच आर्टरी वाज मार्क्ड सो मोस्ट ऑफ देम एग्रीड दैट दी वी डिड इट इन द लाइव वीडियो आल्सो कि भाई सो द आउटर मोस्ट वेसल वाज मार्क्ड देन द बेस्ट आंसर विल बी सुपरफिशियल टेंपोरल आर्टरी द आंसर वाज सुपरफिशियल टेंपोरल आर्टरी ओके नाउ द सेकंड क्वेश्चन इन द पेपर फ्रॉम रेडियोलॉजी वाज व्हाट इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस और द बेस्ट नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू बी डन इफ यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ ureteric stone or ureteric colic. So if you remember from our classes, we have always discussed if you are suspecting gallstones, you better do a ultrasound. If you are suspecting gallstones, you better do a ultrasound. But if you are suspecting urinary stones, we always do a NCCT. We always do a NCCT. Let us revise some questions from the class. Remember I told you in the class, 90% of the urinary stones are radio-opaque. Uric acid and xanthine stones are radiolucent. Uric acid and xanthine stones are radiolucent. This is a direct question from the classes. It is a very important question. Can be repeated again also. Keep this in mind. If they say gallstone, it will be ultrasound. If they say CBD stone, it will be MRCP. If they say salivary gland stone, if they say salivary gland stone, it will be NCCT. अगर सलाइवरी ग्लैंड स्टोन पूछा तो एनसीसीटी कॉमन बाइल स्टोन तो एम आर सी पी गोल स्टोन तो अल्ट्रासाउंड सो दीज आर यूजल क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी आस्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक इन फ्यूचर एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो आई ऑल्सो फील दैट वी नीड टू नो अ क्वेश्चन विच इज अ पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन फॉर नीट पी जी ऑन अ लैटरल व्यू हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट अ गोल स्टोन फ्रॉम अ यूरिनरी स्टोन 
ओके बेटा ऑन अ लैटरल व्यू हाउ डू यू डिफ्रेंशिएट अ गोल्ड स्टोन फ्रॉम अ यूरिनरी स्टोन एनी वन कैन आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यूरिनरी स्टोन विल बी एनी वन यूरिनरी स्टोन विल बी ओके टेल मी ओवरलैपिंग द स्पाइन these are the kind of direct questions that they ask in the neat pg because urinary stones will be retroperitoneal they will overlap the spine now why would you start with ureteroscopy for every case you know that's a mistake that many people have done in the exam ureteroscopy will not be the ioc or the best investigation that you will do here that will be when you are planning some therapy also then you once you have seen it on a ct then you will go for ureteroscopy beta i see somebody asking in the chat box but beta here the answer is ncct it is a clear direct question from the classes there is no controversy on this and i feel you know many people did this mistake in the exam by overthinking now my request to you again is if it is a direct question from the class please see it is written in your class notes okay if it is a direct question in from the class go with your first instinct if it is indirect question then we use the rule out and thinking methodologies but if it is a direct question from the class notes go with your first instinct now again you will see another question with twist this patient has diabetes difficulty in breathing pleural effusion tree in bud appearance now we go back to our class in radiology if you remember i at length we discussed any infection which is spreading via the endobronchial route will lead to tree in bud appearance characteristically seen in tb and we also discussed that tree in bud appearance looks like this remember nodular lesion branching pattern along the bronchovascular distribution now the answer should be tuberculosis yes and now we see read the question further they have also shown pleural tap has lymphocyte can happen in tb very good agree low adl level now that's a problem now low adl level does not go with tb when you will read in your pulmonology they will say if the adl level is low we are probably looking at a non tubercular etiology so answer should have been a necrotizing granuloma or a chiziating granuloma but i am shifting now this is the twist in the paper low adl now i am thinking probably diabetes led to some immunocompromise led to a fungal infection causing tree in bud appearance and a pleural effusion now i am going with fungal etiology in this question i hope you can see that everything else in the question was pointing towards tb in the end they changed the game by putting a googly in this and if you look at every topper talking about the inict paper they will say there is a twist in the paper i'll tell you the twist question number 1 it is a mr angiogram has been asked multiple times but there is a twist every time they have asked internal carotid artery this inict they are asking external carotid artery okay second twist every time <clears throat> in the history of any exam the, when they say tree in bud appearance we always think tubercular in radiology okay now they have added a small test low adl level to change the answer to fungal okay now this was a direct question every time in inict they like asking esophagus barium images many times they ask achalasia they might ask you ca esophagus achalasia will be like bird beak ca esophagus will have rat tail shouldering and apple core like appearance or they might show corkscrew appearance of diffuse esophageal spasm but this time they had a out pouching so this out pouching that you see here out pouching with a long standing history of foul breath halitosis some dysphagia all this is pointing towards a zancus diverticulum this is a direct image this is what most people believed was the image in the exam a ap view showing a zancus instead of lateral that they show mostly but this is still a diverticulum most of the time they show a lateral image this is the only time they have used a ap image that was the twist in the question otherwise the question was straight forward the answer is zancus diverticulum and the only question that we are not sure of so far is because it's a incomplete question based on this question we are unable to give a answer a trivial trauma 68 year old patient hip pathology leg fracture and so we are ruling out eosinophilic granuloma because eosinophilic granuloma is langerhans cell histiocytosis of the bone typically seen in the children here what we could see from the recall was that the acetabulum was totally destroyed so most of the students who were appearing for the exam had a opinion that acetabulum they could not see and only the femur head could be seen now the questions are was the femoral head also destroyed was the joint space also destroyed did you have fever in the question 
when we asked for recall most people did not say fever and most of the say, them said femoral head was okay only the acetabulum was destroyed now if it is tb you will see some erosions of the femoral head some mortal and pestle like appearance you will see loss of your joint space you know remember inflammatory arthritis will lead to erosions uniform loss of joint space all of that is not mentioned in the question so i am not thinking tb the main problem is between either am i looking at metastasis which is possible when a old patient has a uh, a bony osteolytic lesion you keep in mind metastasis always anywhere in the body and brown tumor of hyperparathyroidism can also lead to pathological fractures and expensile lesions so this is the dd where we are unable to finally put my foot down because uh, i the answer could be either b or c i am not able to put my foot down based on the images provided to me if the images had a uh, hip otherwise or the skeleton otherwise which was more showing some metabolic bone changes then i might be tilted towards brown tumor if the skeleton otherwise was normal no osteomalacia changes or no changes of your you know metabolic bone disease then probably will go towards metastasis as of now in this question i would consider this question as incomplete both b and c are correct and no one is i don't think anybody can give my information because there is something missing in the questions recall but we have asked many students the more they believe this is the probably the full question there was another image maybe showing a fracture but none of them have been able to give the correct full image and the full the clinical history so there is something missing in the question to differentiate between the final two is this uh, uh, any suggestion of hyperparathyroidism in the question or they have given any suggestion of a uh, primary none of them was given some people mentioned that there was weight loss in the question we don't have the real recall but if there is fever it goes slightly towards tb loss of joint space tb weight loss in a old person bony lesion goes slightly towards metastasis so if there was weight loss then maybe i might be tilted towards metastasis slightly more but the recall is not there many people don't agree that it was there in the question or not so if you have a correct recall you can put it in the chat box we will have a discussion again but these were the questions from this year's inict paper the key observations from inict this year were the paper had similar pattern to previous inict there were multiple kind of questions like match the following but match the following were more or less easy there were multiple combination kind of questions first second year had 100 questions short subjects were less this time ent ofthel was straight forward patho Uh, pharma microbiology the paraclinicals had more slightly more weightage than the preclinicals but first and second were mainly the questions uh, there in the exam and third fourth year the bigger subjects were given more weightage as compared to shorter subject this was the pattern of this year's exam if you are preparing for the may exam now if any of you is preparing for the may inict 2025 i would strongly recommend that on our e medicos app we have a course called as inict tnd for a short period of time now we have made it available in a 6 month subscription we have made this course available in a 6 month subscription where you can directly do the test and discussions on the inict pattern with the teachers themselves and you can learn from the teacher the high yield topics and make sure that it gives you the extra edge in the exam second course that i would recommend for you which has been a very important course in this year's paper as well as mission inict mission inict is a course available in your back to basics as well as in your uh, ultimate life course and face to face it is a short course which covers all the high yield topics of inict most students believed it was very important for this year's paper but because this year paper was more conceptual you know like a classic inict paper most student believe that your class notes that you make in your regular course were the single most important resource in this exam so make sure that you don't ignore your class notes for the may exam you can use a inict tnd to add on get extra edge benefit and in the last month revise the mission inict that should be the strategy fine tune your exam giving strategy most people were able to finish the paper on time but some people found the paper 3 the block number 3 slightly longer in the paper so make sure that you draw make a habit of finishing on time make sure you manage your time well and i am giving you my blessings and my best wishes for your result we are looking forward to take your interview in this studio after the result you know my all my blessings all my best wishes all your parents best wishes are with you 
जस्ट कीप इन माइंड जो होगा अच्छा होगा जो होगा अच्छे के लिए होगा ही ऑलवेज हैज अ प्लान फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस आपके लिए भी होगा दे मस्ट बी अ बिगर प्लान इन स्टोर फॉर अस विद दैट होप विद अवर फिंगर्स क्रॉस्ड वी वेट फॉर द रिजल्ट्स। आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट कीप रिमाइंडिंग योर अपना टाइम आएगा नहीं अपना टाइम अपन खुद लाएगा